Well, the process starts with the client coming to the showroom. And when that client comes in the showroom, we, we try to introduce ourselves to them. We show them the showroom. And we try to get an idea of what they want to do. Tom called to uh, make sure he knew what we wanted. And then he put us in touch with Mike Stanley, who then contacted me. And we had several meetings. At that point, we're going to interview them a little bit. What are you looking for? How many people are going to be in the kitchen? How many people are going to be cooking? What size family do you have? We had a lot of ideas that, well, we knew what the look was that we wanted. They had the expertise to figure out how the best way to, you know, put everything in, in, in place. From that point, we take measurements, we come back to the office, we computer design the layout of their bath or kitchen. Then we have the homeowner come into the showroom, at that point, we'll have done some CAD drawings, computer-aided drafting, where we can show them perspective views as well as floor plans. On those floor plans, we can show a lot of different ideas, maybe two or three different plans. And then once the floor plan is agreed on and any adjustments that need to be made can be made at that point, then we start talking about product. Whether you're going to use an oak cabinet, whether you're going to use a maple cabinet, a cherry cabinet. We, we carry a variety of products, so there is that good, better, best scenario of, of what fits their needs. I was absolutely convinced that I wanted a solid surface countertop and um, Mike said that you know there are, there are various options that we could go with with a solid surface uh, but he said that the laminates have improved so much that I might want to consider the laminates and I didn't even realize that some of the products in here were laminates. Budget's not a bad word, it's something we talk about, it's part of the project. Once we come up with a design it's just a matter of putting different products into that design that's going to adjust the budget. I, th I think from the design standpoint here in, you know, in, in the office, we, we uh, in the shop, we really had a, an opportunity to pick out exactly the materials that, that we wanted. The next step is the ordering process. And we're kind of unique in that fact for the ordering process is that we order everything into our warehouse and we don't really start that job until everything is in that warehouse. That way, once we start the job, we get there, we complete it, we get back out. He made it very painless. Yeah, it was, it was a, a wonderful process that we went through. I think one of the things that impressed me most was how, how professional they were and uh, the knowledge expertise that came into play when we finally did come in uh, with Mike. Uh, we went around to all of the different uh, items that we were picking out, you know, the, the countertop, uh, you know, the, the fixtures. We were happy with the design work that uh, Mike came up with. We had not thought through very much what the details would be, but he had some bright ideas that we think were helpful. Mm -hmm. Everybody, everybody talks about the good work they do. So we're really a complete company offering a great service to our customers. During a bath or kitchen remodeling, if something needs moved, if the tub needs moved, if the sink needs moved, we can go ahead and take care of that within house. The same thing with our carpenters. Our carpenters have been up with us some 15 to 20 to 25 years. We can handle just about anything that comes along, whether it's structural, whether it's moving walls, whether it's moving beams. It's Duncan's people involved with that job from start to finish. He would tell us what he did every day and how it was going and what was ordered and you know if you had any questions and they always cleaned up which I appreciated. He was uh, worked with me and my work schedule uh, and my wife's work work schedule very well so they're very flexible in that regard and uh, had him come at 8 o'clock he showed up at 5 to 8 prompt and uh, started his work. And I think that's important is that the client wants you to be there at 9 o'clock we're there at 9 o'clock if the client has to leave at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, he doesn't want anybody in the house, we go ahead and leave. If they want us to let their dog out, we let their dog out. We'll lock the house. They give us keys to get in there in the morning. It's a very trusting relationship that the client has with our installers and with our designers. Well, we started out with one fella. I think he worked for the first week and we really got sort of attached to him. Oh, well, he's coming back, you know. Uh, and, and then he said, well, he had to go do another job. And I said, oh, geez, I don't want you to, to leave. And because, you know, there, a new guy was going to come in. And uh, but when John came in, you know, this the second uh, um, guy, uh, it, there was no difference. I mean, it was right. the, the same kind of kind Great of thing. People. So um, yeah, it was that that was a very good experience for us. Uh, customer satisfaction is always important. We go the extra step, we do whatever it takes to make the customer happy. Um, 
sometimes we have issues, but the difference between our company and some of the other companies is we take care of those issues. Because we live in an older home, there were a couple of little glitches, nothing major because you know these guys know what they're doing and uh, when the little glitches came up, they made sure that they explained what the challenges were and made sure that I understood the pros and the cons and the costs of any of the options that we had. I had no problem, Steve uh, was there and we came home in the evening from work and, and Steve was working and you could see the project that he was making each day. Uh, we had good communication with him, he would ask us things along the way to make sure that you know our vision was what he was trying to complete. I truly believe that, that our employees care about the finished product, they care about what our clients think about us, what our clients think the end product will be like. They want to make sure that that end product is satisfactory for the client as they would have in their own home. The quality of the workmanship was, was just, you know, everything we expected. I was just amazed at the quality of the craftsmanship and the care that they took uh, in, in doing everything. Really meticulous. We wondered why we waited so long to uh, have the bathroom done after it was in. We really, we really like it. We do. We don't tend to wait a long time until we get the kitchen in good shape. So it's not spending money on your house, it's kind of an investment in your house. One, for the longevity of how long you're going to enjoy that. Two, is when you resale the home, it's going to be worth a lot more money. Not only would it be nice for us to enjoy, but it would also be a good investment for us down the road when we go to sell the home. Kitchens are a room in the home that really have become a gathering place more so than in the past. You know, we used to hide the kitchen in the back of the home. Nobody wanted to really spend any time there. But in reality, today, it's the central gathering place of the home. Mike Stanley, who's the design guy, actually encouraged me to go out and get other estimates. And, and he told me, bring the other estimates in and I could cover up the prices if I wanted to. He just wanted to make sure that um, when I was comparing products, I was comparing apples to apples instead of apples to oranges. A faucet that's bought at Home Depot or some of your box stores is not the same faucet that we're selling here. The, the components are different. Uh, they've done, done it to try and meet a price point for the consumer. Um, they get people excited, but they don't have the expertise you know, when you open your Lazy Susan and it hits your, your oven door, that's when they find it, unfortunately. Or they have a drawer when it's all said and done that doesn't open. I would recommend Duncan to uh, anyone without any hesitation whatsoever based on uh, the quality of the products that they offer and the quality of service. From inception to finish, it was a, a wonderful process. And their attention to detail and, and w what we wanted and what we finally got matched I also think the old adage, you get what you pay for, comes to play here. I probably could have gone out and picked out all of those materials myself and gotten separate contractors to come in and install the tile and run the plumbing. But having it be here and be convenient and having Mike Stanley walk us through the entire process and having not having to spend my own time to go out and, and do all of those things um, really made a difference. We're going to give them our personal and professional opinion, we're going to give them uh, our ideas, but the consumer is the one that's going to enjoy it for years to come. Duncan has always been here as long as I've lived in Poland. I've lived here since, since 85. We uh, had heard about Duncan's over the years and as a company that does very good business, very excellent uh, and quality work. Duncan was the right decision for us in the project that we had for remodeling our bathroom and I would not hesitate to recommend them. Uh, do not second guess that choice at all. I'm in the real estate business and they said I would, I would recommend Duncan. No hands down. They're just wonderful people. We're so happy that we let Duncan do it that we refer them to other people. We know what it's going to look like. We really can visualize it and we get excited about it as well. I, I really love to hear people say, I'm glad I let Duncan do it. Oh, I'm very happy that I let Duncan do it. As a matter of fact, I'm so happy that not only a year after they're going to do, they did my bath and half bath, they're going to do my kitchen. To see the consumer 
see the process happen and watch the excitement as when it, it as the project gets closer and closer to finishing, the smile gets bigger and bigger. <laughs> I'm very excited. I can't wait for the new kitchen to be in there. I didn't think about anybody else. There was nobody else I wanted to have to do it. It was always Duncan's.